seated now at the Timberwood Grill, and we're in the island of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We're looking forward to having some uh, some tasty food. Let's see what they're all about. Give you a quick look at the menu. There's actually two sides to it here. There we go. As well as a beverage list. Cocktails. Draft beers. On the other side, bourbons and whiskeys. Also the shadow of my camera. And tequilas. <laughs> to start, we ordered the gold nuggets. I, I think I got that right, right? Gold nuggets. And so what these are, is a uh, fried mac and cheese. Comes with a dipping sauce, of which Dez will not be eating. But I will. Let's give this a shot. It's delicious. What's that? Ooh, it's Gouda cheese. It's delicious. Nice and melty. Crisp on the outside. A little bit smoky. That's a winner right there. I want these at home. These are really good. They're very good. I love Big Mac. It's so good. <laughs> For a beverage, I got the Yeehaw Brewing uh, Dunkel, which we look over there. Is Yeehaw Brewing. So that beer traveled very far. And it is quite delicious. Tastes like a. Well, tastes like a dunkel. It's um, sweet, malty, and delicious. Very refreshing. Des? I got the Hillbilly Wine. It's a frozen mountain berry daiquiri made with Old Smoky Blackberry Moonshine, strawberries, sugar, and fresh lime juice. Now, wine spelled... W-H-I-N-E. <laughs> very clever. It's very good. I just can't drink it fast because it's a frozen drink and it hurts. <laughs> sugar rimmed. Yes. <laughs> It's very good. I can't even tell that there's moonshine in there. It's dangerous. <laughs> but it tastes it tastes like a berry daiquiri. So yeah. it's, a, it's a moonshine berry daiquiri? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, Des, what did you get for dinner? I got the twin pork chicken something or other. It's the official name. With the gravy on the side. With the gravy on the side. Usually the gravy comes on the chicken, but I'm not a big gravy fan, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, so I got it on the side. Okay, so we got boneless fried chicken. Boneless fried chicken, and there's seasoning in that breading. I don't know what the seasoning is, it doesn't tell me. And then it comes with mashed potatoes, and then you pick another side, so I got steamed broccoli, because I like broccoli. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I got the brisket with their barbecue sauce. I know I'm not being very descriptive. Cajun corn and their bourbon uh, baked beans. It smells amazing, so I can't wait to get into this. Taste test by Des. Trying to cut it. <laughs> Okay, let's 
smells good. Smells like chicken? Good. The breading mm -hmm. has a nice crunch on it. I still can't tell what the seasonings are. Um, I think once it's fried and everything, it takes away from that. And the chicken is very good. It's not it's not too moist and it's not too dry. It's like a good in between. So it's good. But I'm gonna try a little bit of the gravy. Now this is a baking gravy. Bacon gravy. Southern style bacon gravy. It's thick. Gravy. Not a gravy fan? No. Okay. I can't even taste bacon in there. All right. Well, that's you. <laughs> me. Everyone's allowed to be wrong, I know. <laughs> so let's... Try this uh, this brisket here. All right, so it's kind of it's really soaked in the sauce. It feels tender. Ooh, that's really easy. That's a really good brisket. It's sliced thin. It's tender. Really good sauce. That's nice. Let's see. Try these beans here. These beans are very tasty. Um, it's got some fresh vegetables mixed in there, like uh, green pepper and onion. And you can taste them. A little bits of bacon in there too, which for baked beans, just tops it. It looks like a baked bean soup. So that's all the vegetables. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So last I got this corn, it's a Cajun corn. A lot of flavors going on there, and it ends with heat. As it should, being Cajun. Yeah, that's also very good. Um, I don't have a single complaint about this. This this plate's going down. Let's first start off by saying we went to put our names in and uh, they told us it was going to be about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, so they put our name in and registered my phone number. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the text confirming that they put it in. Yes. And then we got the text saying we're ready for your table 25 minutes later. So that's a plus. That it's is a, a very good plus. We began with our um, golden nugget appetizer. So and good. it was very good. Uh, I told the waitress, and she came over and said, Oh, what did you think of them? I said, Too much. She says, Oh, there's too much. She's, I said, No, I like them too much. Mm -hmm. uh, I would live on them, although I would have a very <laughs> short life if I did. Uh, so it was a, a, a Gouda cheese. It tasted like a smoked Gouda. It was quite delicious. So um, good. I love very that. happy with that. So you can't go wrong with that. Uh, that's the only appetizer we had, so I mean, if uh, that's any indication, it seemed like you really have have no bad choices there. Right. The uh, the waitress did also recommend the uh, pork nachos, but she said that they're very big. So being that it was just the two of us, we just got the uh, the we golden nuggets. Yeah. yeah. Dinner. I got the brisket. The brisket was tender. Uh, it was a good mix of lean and fatty bits, which you, you want to have with a thin cut brisket like that. And some people are into fatty bits, but I mean, traditionally that's the way it's served. Des would not have appreciated that, uh, but none of the, f the fatty bits were, were chewy or gristly. Uh, they were soft, juicy, flavorful. And so having that mixed with the lean bits was really um, very pleasant. 
texture-wise and taste. Plus, they have very good barbecue sauce, so I was impressed with that. Uh, the sides were also delicious for me. Uh, I enjoyed the corn very much. It had a nice uh, set of, of spices in it. Uh, not just the heat at the end, which gave it, I guess, that occasion, but it was kind of just, um, I can't even describe it. It's a little smoky, a little earthy. It was very good. It uh, looked really good. Yeah. And the beans were excellent, too. Uh, and, I mean, baked beans, you think, okay, it's baked beans, but no, they were really good. I wanted to keep eating them. Um, I did get full. Uh, I ate the rest of my brisket. I had to leave the sides, but I didn't leave much of it. <laughs> I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, now, I did try Dez's gravy, and I can side with Dez on this one. It didn't taste it didn't like have a bacon. bacon flavor. Maybe it's made with bacon fat. Um, maybe a little bit it tasted that way, but nothing that I could really pull out. Now, I do like, you know, biscuits and gravy, a whole southern style thing. Uh, so it's that type of biscuit gravy, where it's the white gravy, you know, the same thing you'd have on, on chicken fried chicken, chicken fried steak, that kind of thing. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was good if you like gravy. I'm yeah. just, I'm not a gravy person. No, Des is not a gravy fan, but so I, I tasted it expecting, okay, maybe this is going to have some bacon flavor or something I want to try. It just wasn't there. Um, so you could take it or leave it, but um, I would still eat it on the chicken does have. Yeah, and the chicken, it was like I said, it was very good. It had the right ratio, I guess, of like crunchy and then moist, moist. chicken. <laughs> it wasn't dry chicken. Like I usually like dry chicken. I'm very more than most. I, I don't know. I just I like dry chicken. It's a texture it's just, thing. Must be. Yes. And it was it was so good. It, it was just it was perfect. The only bad part about it was that at the edges of it, it was so hard to cut with the knife that I had. If I had like a steak knife, it would have been perfect. Yeah. But other than that, I mean it was really good. And the sides, the broccoli was a little too mushy for me. But it was still very good. It was very flavorful. The mashed potatoes were perfect. Just the right, right amount of salt and I usually put some salt on my mashed potatoes, but it was perfect. Okay. So, I didn't need so to good. season anything. Everything no. was good. Um, where other experiences we've had down here so far, uh, we, you know, said some things were a little bit salty. Not a thing here. No. Uh, so with that, we did not get any dessert. Uh, we just had too much food. Too full. Um, we enjoyed our beverages. Uh, we just had a regular lemonade. Uh, it just seemed like a fountain lemonade. So I mean, no real review thing there. It was just the lemonade, and it was good. It was refreshing. And then, um, so I had the local beer, which was from the Yeehaw Brewing Company. Uh, it was their Dunkelweizen, uh, very good, style uh, on point, delicious, and went well with uh, with my dish. Um, and then you had the, had the Hillbilly, Hillbilly Wine, W-H-I-N-E. Yeah, and it was, it tasted just like a, like... A daiquiri. A, a strawberry daiquiri, but with like other berries in it, so I guess it'd be like a mixed berry, mixed berry daiquiri. daiquiri. And it was... It was made with Old Smoky Moonshine. Moonshine. I'm trying to remember the flavor. I think it was. Okay. I don't know. I'll put it down below because I'll remember it's right here. So that's what it was. <laughs> but it was awesome. I mean, you couldn't tell that there was moonshine in it, so it was a little dangerous. But yeah, I have to drink it slowly because it's a frozen drink, and you just you feel like you're inside. You're becoming frozen. Yes. <laughs> But it was good. Excellent. Uh, that's my, my overall thought on, on the meal. Um, it was excellent. They took good care of us, and uh, I was very pleased. I would go back um, without a second thought. Definitely. So if you are in Pigeon Forge, and you happen to be at the island or nearby, you can get there. Uh, we do recommend going to Timberwood Grill yeah. to have yourself a nice meal. Um, if you've had a good meal, tell us about it in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't, tell us about it. Because, of course, your mileage may vary. Uh, yeah. Sometimes people have an off night. Maybe we came on a very good night. Uh, either way, we are very, very pleased. And uh, we will look forward to coming back when we're back in town.